Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. across the 30 to the 31. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the large choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Now they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Herbert now. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, L.A. D.J. Chark, 69 yards. And the Chargers are on the board here first in the season opener. We thought they may be a quick strike offense this season. That is lightning quick. Not bad for the first drive of the year. That has to actually exceed expectations, doesn't it? Because most teams want to be a quick strike offense. They want to score as quickly as possible and run a defense into submission. What they have to understand is, while they got it done there, long way to go. Don't get discouraged if you have to, have to run a few more plays on your next drive. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 15. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this whole line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 in the first. And Hurts going to move him around. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Smith will come in motion right. Second down, here's Hurts. Under pressure, they got him again. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. So two sacks for the rookie, definitely making an impact here in year one. And in a ton of different ways because rushing the passer, that was supposed to be a skill that he was developing. Looks to me like he's figured it out already. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. The Eagles send out their punter now. 
Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just holding straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no game. A second down. That's that's Facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Herbert. And he's caught. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And able to get this to the 31. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the 31, here's second down and eight. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 25. Let's go, Eagles! All the downsides of Bitsy going around right now because sometimes you get all your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're going to toss the ball carrier with a bandit. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel the laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Eagles! They're already down 
two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? But listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. again after the kick return TD here's yet another kickoff from his end zone here's Darius Davis and he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14 yard line for most people the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction but for the guys covering it it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory how about that incredible form tackle right there shoulder in the ball carrier and down he goes the charger drive about to get going so for this offense charles remember drive one made it to the end zone drive two resulted in a touchdown as well now they'll try to make it three for three yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there's never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and ten. Throwing his hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Now a second and ten. Hurts. And he comes back with one complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Back to throw again. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. 
picked by Cameron Bynum. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. That is incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 87 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he will be very close to a first down. see the close first of the three. And that means fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Herbert going to keep it on the sneak. We just totally get the sense there that a field goal was not in the game plan at all. And the boys up front, they created the surge. I think they knew that they had the leverage advantage. Oh, that's a great point there. Being able to get lower than the defensive front, create just enough space. And I love when those quarterbacks get low and slide in there and get it done. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. He'll try again. And he's going to lose yardage again as he is stuck behind the line. It's a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Much running backs love getting the ball down with the ball, and they think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Now Herbert, third and goal. The quick slant caught. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now fourth and goal. They snap it to Herbert. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They wanted to throw for it. A surprise does not work on fourth and goal from the one. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action.
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And now they'll shift things around. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And got his man complete. Look at the big man rumble. Touchdown. goes for six and the Eagles are back within a score Elliott now to add the extra point it's up and good this becomes a try for 14 now after the touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining. Here's Herbert. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now this offense in mid-season form here in the opener. It's first and 10. is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Has caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Rondale Moore, 27 yards. And the Chargers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. But first down, Hurts. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 
The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for him, all things considered. And this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the way going. And that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Back to throw now on second and ten. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. On third down, Barkley. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Davis now to return it. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first 
first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll work down inside the 45. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And it's the right side here, complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. 120 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Right back to him on first down. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there with now three week one touchdowns. And the Chargers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, and that's kind of how it's gone for him so far. That was a ball they need to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play. But he let his guy too far, and it winds up over his head. Out of the gun now on third down. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, and that is incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Second and 10 now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Now Hurts changing up the play. To throw on second and 10, Hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now they'll audible to something else. Hey, 
Again, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll look to throw again. And he is into the end zone. Jalen Hurts taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Elliott good on the extra point. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting at a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Let's go, be open with me on the first down. Michael Thomas just couldn't connect. And that was on the back to the draw. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds all the way down at the 40-yard line. A big play there for L.A. And even 40 yards. Hey, they made no bones about it. They wanted to throw this rookie right into the fire, see what he could do. He shows what he can do there. And you have to really put the time and effort in because playing a receiver in the NFL is a difficult task. And for a rookie, all that you have to learn to get on the same page with your quarterback, that's excellent coaching. And how about how he's picked things up? Picking things up in a big way with a big play in his NFL debut. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 137 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. On first and ten, Herbert. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Herbert. Throwing middle, and it's complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. And this one is right down Broadway. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. 
And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And quickly, they get to the line. Throwing his Hurts. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Now, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Second down. Here's Hurts. Well, this is Smith with the ground. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Hurts. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Eagles. have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Eagles offense staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Hertz will throw. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. And here's a handoff out of the gun. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Herbert now. Escaping the pressure right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside the pocket, and it results in a sack. get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the Scrambler or the Dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick 16. When the 
mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tagged as one of the best in the league the prior season. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Herbert. Open man right side is sharp. Takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Throwing quickly, and Herbert completes it. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? They're able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. On first down, it's Herbert. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Second and five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Nine-yard line, second and six. Now Herbert going to shift his guys around. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And they get to him quickly as he stops it the free team. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. Now it's 
Herbert. That's complete. Right around the way. Touchdown, Chargers. From 13 yards out. And the Chargers will add to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Now, this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. They'll come up first and 10 here. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. But first down, Hurts. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On first and 10, it hurts. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. This to get it back to a one-score game. The kick by Elliott is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that.